You're looking for a way to avenge Leora's death. Oh, I know the way. You can't keep blaming Tad and Joe. Why not? Why not? They stopped me from saving my daughter, Anna. No, it was beyond your power. Anyone's power. You've got to stop looking for a scapegoat. I don't have to look anywhere. David, you can't keep doing this. You're better than this. You accused me of killing your daughter. You told me that I murdered our child. And now you want me to tap into my better self? Go to hell, Anna. You won't be alone, Anna. I've been in hell for some time. What is that, David? It's oblivion. Just six ounces of this, poured into a batch of lemonade, will obliterate the memory of anyone who drank it. That would be rich, huh? The entire Martin clan, maybe even Liza, suddenly emptied of everything, every feeling, every fact that makes them them. It's a fantasy. No. I consider this justice, Anna. God, David, there is nothing just about going after Tad and Joe for a crime they never committed. See, of course you would say that. You would say that because you think I murdered our child, I right? I think you murdered her. You do everything to save the Martins. But if I stood here right now with a gun to my head, you would stand there and watch me pull the trigger. Oh, don't say that. That's not true. Give me your gun, Anna. Oh, I'll prove it to you. For God's sake, you're not going to kill yourself. I won't let you leave me. <laughs> what a joke. You're kidding, right? We're not together anymore, remember? Not ever since Leora left us. We'll be fine. You'll get help. We'll go to counseling. We'll go together. It doesn't matter. I can't adjust to a world where the one completely good and pure life I've ever known can just be senselessly snuffed out. I was wrong to say what I did to you. Are you listening, David? I was wrong. You didn't kill Leora. In fact, from the moment you knew I was pregnant, you did everything you could to save her. It doesn't matter. You were a wonderful father. You were the best. I couldn't save her. But you would have. If it had been humanly possible, you they would have. They wouldn't even let me try. Oh, forget Tad and Joe. This is about you and me no. and the baby. Forget, forget. Yeah, that would be a blessing, wouldn't it, huh? Then I could just erase all the guilt and all the pain. You want to erase the aura, too? Don't you want to have her as a memory? The sweet little face, the little dimples, those petal soft lips, teeny tiny fingers, just the sheer miracle of her? You want to make it like she never existed? I wish we never had her. What? Because then I couldn't have loved her so completely. Oh, God, you don't mean that. I know you don't. I do. I mean it. I wish we never did. No. Because I wouldn't have... I couldn't have... What? Killed her. Oh. It was me, Anna. You were right. You're right. Leora's dead because of me and no one else. No. Yes. No, I told you that I didn't know what I was saying. I appointed myself her god. I shut you out. I closed everyone out. I convinced myself that only I was capable of, of treating my little girl. Wouldn't let any other doctor treat her. I mean, after all, I'm the one that saved her life before she was born, right? So when I walked into that surgery room, when I tried to control the surgery, I cost our daughter her life. No, no, she wasn't strong enough. No one could have done anything. David, please stop it, stop it, put no, it down. I need it! But don't you I need it! Deal with this, with us! No. You can live with this. I promise we will find a way. 
No, I can't. I can't. I can't. Leora is there. She's always there staring okay, at me and blaming me. We're going to put the photos away for a while. In a no, box. no, no. She will always be there, Anna. She, she will always be. be there. That's not a bad no! thing. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I can't even breathe. Oh, God, it's going to get better. No, time, no, I no you, you don't understand. Leora is everywhere, okay? She's haunting me. Leora at, at five, ready to go to school, which she'll never attend. Leora at, at 12, furious because she, she won't be able to go on dates with boys. Leora at 15. Stop it! <sighs> David, you need a rest. You just need to rest. No, you think I'm mad, right? You think I'm going crazy? No, this is real, and it's real. All the Leoras I will never know. Leora, Leora everywhere. Leora, the, the Leora I will never be a father to. I mean, Leora is everywhere, every hour of every day. So if I just drink this, it'll all go away. Listen. David. I love you. I love you with everything that I am. And that drug will rob me of you. Leora won't forgive me, Anna. She won't let me go. Oh, she was nothing but a sweet, innocent little baby, David, who loved you. She's not torturing you. You're doing that to yourself. You're using all this, this junk, to self-destruct. David. You're using this to ruin your life. You need to take responsibility for that. Don't go blaming a little baby. She would want you to live your life. Be happy. Go out there and save other people's children. Don't put this on her. I love you more than any man ever in my life. You're part of me. You're in my soul, as Leora is. And I'm not gonna have you use her to destroy us. You hear me? We're so lost. No, we're not lost. We lost a child. drive us apart or it can bring us closer together but you need to know I cannot survive without you I cannot live through this without you I just can't I can't lose you too David Forgive me. Forgive me. There's nothing to forgive. Oh, there's nothing to forgive. Where are you gonna be?